Hey, it's the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Today, I'm going to be talking about something kind of personal. I'm going to take you behind the scenes today and talk about creating space to help you be productive as a professional speaker. We all need our space to write, to create, to dream, to make sure we're best prepared for what it is we're going to be speaking on. So I'm going to take you on a little brief tour of my little home office and tell you why I have some of the things in the office that I do. You see I have posters, you see I have videos, you see I have stuff in here. It's not just stuff. There's a reason it's here. And today I'm going to go behind the scenes to help you create your space to make you do better at public speaking. So stick around. So, as you come into my office, this is the rather open view of what I have in my office. This is kind of a brand new office for me. I just recently made the change here and uh, moved into the, this new office. So, I'm a very creative person. I, I, I love creativity. I love music. I, I love, I'm a man of action. So, I put a lot of things around me to inspire me, to help me with that. Now, some of these things are very practical and some of them are more of creative. So, for example, on this side over here, I'm a big comic book and I'm a big Batman fan and I love to have action adventure stuff. I grew up on Star Trek. Uh, I've been a Star Trek collector all my life. And you can see my video collection is quite extensive. This is just one shelf of it. I'll show you another in a moment. Uh, more Batman stuff. Again, th th this helps get my creative visual juices going. I'm very visually driven when I communicate. I do a lot of stories and illustrations. So I'm always trying to inspire through visual communication. The comics was a big part of my growing up. So I use this as part of my communication language with people is visual communication. I also teach on that. You have a video link in a moment up above that will tell you more about visual communication. Also, you can see I have whiteboards. This one over here is for a new project that I'm currently working on. Uh, I, there's a current project and an old project. Uh, over on this side of the room, you can see there's another board. I am going to be getting married later on this year. So this is not a business board. This is kind of our planning board. And you can see more videos down below as well. That again, uh, I actually use video illustrations a lot because people get it culturally. We are video driven. So as a communicator, I will talk about movie clips and media examples and TV shows. And again, you can see more of the pop culture items. Now, as you move into my desk, got to have some family, got to have some good friends with me, got to have a little bit of fun. The inspiration of the family is always important. But you can see that I love geeking out. So I, I have all sorts of things here to just play with and inspire me. The visuals really help me as a storyteller. But this is one of the most important things. As I sit on my desk, I have this amazing picture of Walt Disney at the Magic Kingdom. This picture was taken before anything was ever built and Walt Disney is standing on the land where Cinderella's castle is in Florida and you can see the overlay of that on top of it it's all about vision it's all about doing the impossible dreaming the impossible and that is one of my big messages as a thought leader and as a communicator that I am always trying to cast vision and help people do the impossible by defying the odds in life leadership and public speaking so that's just kind of some of what I have wrapped around me. Of course, I've always got the video monitor. I do have a small and I have a large. And of course, one of the most important things you have, you spend a lot of hours in a big comfy chair. Uh, you spend a lot of time in this office. So I'm telling you, if you don't have a good comfy chair, if you're not working from a good place that you're comfortable and you're able to dream, I've got paper over here. I've got tablets going. I got all sorts of different things to make sure that I am creating and writing and just letting things flow out of me the very best that they can. And natural light is important. I cannot stress enough. If you are working in a cave, if you are working in a place that is dark and there is no natural light, you need to get someplace because that natural light does feed you. It does help you. So that's kind of a brief tour of behind the scenes here a little bit of what helps me to be creative and as a communicator. And as you can see, 
it's not one dimensional. It's very three dimensional. I intentionally use all the space I can. I am writing on whiteboards all the time. I am then creating on the computer and I'm definitely writing on tablets. So it's old school paper, it's whiteboards, and it's very visual as I go to the computer to help me be the best I can be to communicate. So the reason I wanted to show you my office a little bit was to talk about the creativity side of us as communicators. One of the best things that communicators can be is great storytellers, but to be great storytellers, we must be able to flesh out the story we want. It just can't be an illustration. It's got to be a story that brings something to life, help create the experience. But to do that, I think, at least for me, I have to be in a creative space where my imagination runs wild. John Lasseter from Pixar Films has an amazing office where he has immersed himself in toys and props and many different things. It helped him to literally play, to illustrate, to talk out to imagine the best things he can for his stories. Disney has the Imagineers. Their whole job is to immerse themselves in imagination to be the best storytellers they can. So if you're a public speaker, if you're a communicator, and part of your job is to illustrate, to best demonstrate, to capture people's imaginations, to help them get the most out of life, or to be dreaming the best they can, I want to encourage you to create a space where you can get the best out of you before you present. Find a space, create it the way you need to, whatever it is. Maybe you love science, put all the science gadgets and gizmos you can. Maybe you love books and you love to have books and you lose quotes from historical documents and things. Maybe you're like me and you love the media, the pop culture. Wrap yourself in whatever it is to help you Get the creative juices going every day you hit the keyboard, every time you turn on the video camera, every time you stand up to present, so it can be the best coming out of you. Make a creative space. So let me ask you, what have you found to help you be creative? What creative spaces have you made to help you tell the stories that you need to tell? Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, and I will always reply back, and I look forward to the conversation. Until next time, God bless. Have a great week.